Oi, puussa. Pet that, pet that cat. Pet that cat. It's a very important part. I painting you know. Parang lahat sila may painting Never forget about that open my young friend. Let's begin. Is that all you've got? Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. We shall her. Some more. Yo, and let's go. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Care to demonstrate? Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, basic Levi cast. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Levioso. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Where should we begin? 
Nothing lucky about it. This can't be your first jewel. Let's just say, don't call this jewel. Let me also. I do enjoy a knife in jewel. Ha 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 ha. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Huh. Always thought Leviosa was for first years. Not anymore. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned duel. I love that. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. 
I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Mm. Till next time. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Lumos. Hmm. A tea. Low tea time. It's very quite tea. We roll back. May I not believe on it? Let's have a bye. I'll be surrounded by Jarvis. Revelio, Levian. In trouble, are we? Paid up to no good. Thought as much. Revelio. Lumos. That was a bit of a lot, eh? Mayro bang ano? Pang suot na ano? So suotin yung ano? Yung hood.
Yan, mala Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Protego. Lumos. Revelio. Leviosa. Hey there, Mr. Sun. How are you doing? Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to. Rebellion! Some of us don't necessarily Time want to him to get back to the lesson. And then the werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeve. Revelio. Both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots. 